last year. And Mr. Edward Bennett, who was a night clerk at Bayside Inn, uh, became a homicide victim in Panama City. That was on October 22nd, 2007. Arrived at the Bayside Inn that morning about 7.30 in the morning and it was quickly learned by detectives, investigators, that uh, this was a homicide that we were looking at and uh, that uh, it appeared to be that it was uh, the motivation was robbery. Um, it wasn't too long after that that we developed a suspect. The suspect in this case that we developed at that time was a David Eric Merkel. We also were able to collect some DNA evidence uh, at the time of this homicide. It took uh, approximately six months to get some of that uh, DNA evidence back uh, to us and uh, we're very, very uh, pleased uh, at the results from that DNA uh, evidence. It did come back as a, with a match uh, to Mr. Merkel. They were both night auditors. Mr. Bennett would work certain nights while Mr. Merkel would work certain nights. After the homicide, we conducted a number of interviews with him, but we still lacked enough information at that time to charge him with uh, this homicide. Uh, this morning we were able to get a, a warrant signed for first degree murder for Mr. Merkel. Uh, we are currently looking for him and we are asking for your assistance in getting his face and his name out there. His last known address uh, for us, we have uh, Ebro, uh, recover a vehicle up in uh, Ebro, and I believe we have uh, uh, some information that he was in Houston, Texas. Then about uh, the 1st of December, um, we went to talk to him again to uh, kind of collect some more uh, physical evidence from him. I believe he may have got spooked at that time, and he uh, stole his mother's car. and. Uh, and that was about the first week of December. And then the car was uh, later recovered up in, uh, off of Highway 20 in Ebro, uh, up that way. Um, Len Haven had a warrant out for him for the, the vehicle. And then he, uh, again, was uh, used, uh, researched back and used some uh, ATM transaction that was used in Houston, Texas, probably about three or four days after that. I feel with the exception of maybe the beard, um, that's pretty much exactly how he's going to look. Um, this picture here was an old driver's license picture, but he looks, that's the way he looked uh, the last day that we talked to him. Might have a scar on his face, and that's why he wears a, a, a beard.